Yo. Yo. Okay. How about that? Does that work? <laughs> so this is a very experimental live stream. Um, I'm uh, well. I've live streamed before, but it's sort of a technical thing of combining lots of devices and making it all work. So I hope that you can hear me. Fingers crossed. Just tell me if you can't. Um. So yeah. This is going to be an extremely informal kind of hangout with the ASM Hydra synth. Uh, that's the jazzy synth that I've got here. We're all going to be spending a lot more time inside, so best that we just surround ourselves with synthesizers and jam out, right? That's, that's going to be the order of the day. Uh, and the Hydra synth is a very awesome synthesizer. It's new. Um, and I've just enjoyed messing around with it a great deal. I kind of just get lost going on little journeys. So I thought we could do that together, if you're up for that. Thanks, Jonathan. Jonathan confirms the stream doesn't sound terrible. That's good. I can do one thing right, at least. Well, maybe. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, and I think I should be showing you a close-up. I can do that. You want to see the device and a wide? Um, yeah. So, guess I'll just mess around. Um, because of this setup, it's actually really hard for me to see your questions as well, which is great of me. That's brilliant, isn't it? But I will try to answer questions if folks have them. Okay. Set it right. Yeah. My drum machine isn't making sound. Should we do some modulation? So I can modulate the filters. Oh, <laughs> 
on the oscillator. drum machine isn't working. This is very experimental. It's because I muted it. Jonathan, uh, caller Jonathan asked, how close to a super saw sound can I get? Um, good question. So, I think you said that. Yes, super saw. Uh, well, let's do an initialized sound. So, yeah. So, it has a couple of different ways of doing super saw-y type things. One is that you use the mutants. Let me give you the close-up. I hope that works. Uh, yeah, so you can see you've got mutants here, and if I do, which one is it? It is wave stack, uh, I believe. There you go, mate. So if we give that some amp business. Ooh. 
and then layer it up. We can have a couple of them. So if I go oscillator two, I'm going to pan one right and one left. So we've got the oscillators going to different sides. And then wave stack. And you've got a depth amount. Loads of reverb. Um, but there are other ways to get like sorry type things uh, and so if I go back to here and then center just oscillator one there was another mute I was messing around with which is really cool which is the PWASM because if you come in here and add like one warp marker there is where was it it was I think if you go then LFO that and go like uh, warp 8 I think it was that one um, or maybe it was the ratio or depth or window or yeah, probably that. So you're basically modulating one of the little like warp markery things. And it creates a sort of super story type thing that has a slightly more like scintillating quality. Um, you can double it up with the other one we made. Cool. Oh. Sixty second release time, that's what I'm all about. It's also the name of my new EP. Another thing that I realized is that you can like LFO, you can obviously do the whole like, you know, about the wave scan thing where you actually set up your own wavetables. You can just like hard smash an LFO into the oscillator block and use it to change the wave. You hear that in the right channel? Oh, did I do that? That's clever. Does that just change the assignment? Very clever. I uh, didn't know about that. Anyway. Um, but yeah, if you just go wave, it like hard smacks the uh, the wave through the whole like 219 bank set, I guess. It's probably a job for um, sample and hold, isn't it? Do the same thing to that one. Uh, do, do, do like this. Ah, keep doing that, and whenever you touch cutoff with that selected, it actually does remap it to uh, the cutoff, which is fine and dandy, but not what we want. Jonathan, um, if only I was able to take your money through the screen, but... I believe you're aware of dealerships that sell the ASM Hydrosynth. 
Jonathan works for one. And will be marching downstairs immediately to purchase one of these from his own shop. Nice. War reverb. Nice, isn't it? So I can't play the keyboard, uh, <laughs> and actually, there's a good little feature for people like me, uh, which is the key locking thing. You can quantize MIDI going into this keyboard to a scale, so that like. If you, by the way, also, if you have the keyboard version, the keyboard version can quantize scales on the keyboard itself and the scales that it is receiving via MIDI. Does that make any sense? If you have an external keyboard, you can quantize it to a scale using this device. That's the most important point. So I can say, like, the key of E, half diminished, um, or, like, you know, pentatonic major so that everything that I now play is in the scale E pentatonic major. I think, anyway, if I've done it right. nice so you can put smoothing on the uh, sample and hold and it's creating a little trill as it smoothly whips between the slots Any other questions, please ask your questions. I will attempt to answer them in as much as the things that I actually do know about this synth. <laughs> Initialize. Yes, mate. Uh, let's do this. No, let's not do that. Let's do this first. Why my drum machine no make sound? Oh, there we go. Oh, it only works in the wine mode. Oh, it's a mixing problem, folks. I'm learning OBS Studio as well as the Hydra synth. voice around per step. So in addition to like, you know, analog modeled filters, even though they're not, there is some other weird, weird filters. Vowel. Q. 
Excuse me. The other thing that we can do is, because we've got two filters, we can use filter two to filter the output of filter one. So I'll try and make that work. That's not it. So they're in series and actually a lot like, you know, uh, things like Massive, you can choose how to route the sounds into the filter per oscillator. So I could be sending like oscillator two just into filter two or what have you, but let's send them all equally into one then two. Alan says he paused the Orteca stream for this. Matthew, you're a very sweet man. I didn't I totally forgot that Orteca is streaming right now. How can I compete with that?
Yeah, mate. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's the thing. So the other thing this does is randomize p p presets. Uh, if you push the random button, it will create a random sound, which is really cool. Because they're like an interesting starting point. You do have to watch the levels though, because they can be loud sometimes. That's a good one. Hmm. One thing that I've not done but would like to is just fill a sampler with all of the random sounds this makes. <laughs> wow. They're basically all like techno track intro sounds. Yeah, excellent octodrack fodder. Ooh. And then you can initialize. Another good thing is that you can actually randomize blocks. So you can go like random filter and then you get randomized filter settings. You have to sort of go random filter filter. Yeah, that's the thing. So let's make another sound. Um. It's Friday afternoon. It's been a long week. So it's like selected ambient works time as far as I'm concerned.
weird. I'm not sure I'm, what I'm doing here, uh, but I'm having fun. <laughs> um, yes. That's something plucky.
Vice Electro. Thanks for joining us. the sound. Oh well. like a sort of uh, bit reducer and weird like mangler it has its own cutoff built in you can change the sampling rate down sample within the device so you can really like crustify in a digital way although it sounds nice of course it sounds nice Thank you. 
Yeah. I think I could do that all weekend, but it's time to go, not to the pub. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe out there. Be well. Take care of each other. Wash your hands for more than 20 seconds. Stay safe. That is the ASM Hydra Synth. Uh, Check it out. It's out now. You can get it in desktop and keyboard form factors. Um, it is a wonderful, amazing, inspiring synthesizer. And what you heard was just the Hydra synth and the drum brute. No external effects or inbuilt effects on the Hydra synth, which sound amazing. So thanks very much for watching. Stay safe, y'all, and be well. Thanks. <laughs>